With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So the question here is, the descending embricate estivation is also called. So we have four options here. Now if we talk about the first option that is karyophyllolaceous. So karyophyllolaceous, it is a condition of the corolla. It is the condition of the corolla which consists of five pre-petals. Which consists of five pre-petals with comparatively long claws. So this option will be incorrect here. The next option is vexillary. So it is a type of estivation. Now if we talk about the estivation. So it is the arrangement of sepals or petals in a flower. Right. So this is called estivation. And in this the type of vexillary estivation is also called descending implicate descending implicate estivation because in this type of estivation the posterior petal overlaps one margin of the two lateral petals another margin of such two lateral petals overlaps the two anterior petals that are united. So they are arranged like this. The posterior petal is like this which is the larger one and the anterior petals are like this. Right? And therefore the two anterior petals are united. Like this. They are fused. So this condition is called vexillary or descending imbricate estivation. So this can be the correct answer. The last option, next option is rosaceous. So rosaceous is also a condition of petals. These are the five broad petals, right? Like that of a rose. So this is called rosaceous, which is incorrect. And the last option is mimosaceous. So, mimosaceous relates to the mimosae family, which is the subfamily of leguminaceae. So, this is also incorrect. So, the correct answer will be here, option number 2. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.